The following message is transmitted at the request of the Pennsylvania State Police Department. An unidentified virus string is rapidly spreading across the state of Pennsylvania. The first reports of the virus are believed to have been in State College. The virus has since spread throughout the state of Pennsylvania. It is believed that it will spread to adjacent states within the next 12 hours. Symptoms of this virus include initial nausea and vomiting. Doomsday's coming, y'all. Doomsday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have been watching so many preparedness, prepper, doomsday prepper, talk about prepping, talk about this and that channels. And let me just first start off and say, I'm. this is not to fear monger. Uh, I am not in fear. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a badass either, but I've been mentally preparing for what's to come for, for the longest time. Um, but it's been giving me some thought. It's been giving me some thought about expecting this to come. What What is this to come? We don't know. Nobody knows. There's so many speculations. There's so many people that are just uh, ramping up the the radio frequencies, the uh, the banner to say doomsday's coming, right? Um, and and I honestly, just from what I'm seeing from so many, not not here, not the YouTuber preppers here, but just what I'm seeing around the world. And there are so many countries involved as far as preparing, doing exercises, um, you know, doing testing. It's like everybody's getting ready for war. It's not just one country. It's not just us and them, them meaning whoever X is. There's a lot of countries involved, major players. And everyone's kind of just waiting at the whims like a Mexican standoff and the good, the bad, and the ugly, waiting to see who's going to fire first and who's going to fire at who first. I think, uh, man, if you're in one of those major populated cities in the United States, as examples in my head, L.A., Houston, New York, Chicago, any of those major player cities would be definitely those top five targets. And I don't know if all the preps you have in the world is going to save you from something like that. All you can do is try, right? I've said that before. Do your best. Prepare the best you can. And we just have to let the chips fall where they fall. I mean, there's no running um, the ultimate um, B-O-M-B out there um, or N-U-K-E if we're doing spelling games. Uh, it, it's, it, it's, there's no way to run from it. You better hope that it doesn't hit your city. You better hope that it doesn't hit near you. Uh, I am near a major city. I don't live in that city, but I'm near a major city. Um, you better hope we get EMPs and not the, not the other not the other stuff, because at least the EMP would just wipe out electronics, right? We we'd still be fucked. We'd still be screwed over because imagine all the people that require electricity to stay alive, from hospitals to bed rest people that that are home. <clears throat> imagine the travel all the elect the elect electrical parts in your vehicle these days unless you have a truck from like the 80s or 70s uh that's still running that requires very minimal electricity or electrical parts we're, we're all screwed no nobody's going nowhere so you better make sure you have your bug out bag in your vehicle all the years that I've been watching YouTube and all the years I've been mentally playing scenarios out, right? Because nobody knows. From the zombie apocalypse to, to this mess that we're 
WW3 that we could be facing. I've mentally played out scenarios of where I would go, what I would do, how I would respond. Um, and, and even then, those are just scenarios in my head. I'm not saying I'm the expert. I'm not saying I'm going to be the last man standing. I certainly would like to be. Hell, I think I'd rather deal with zombies and uh, EMP than I would the other stuff. It's not going to be pretty. I, I get it. People are going to RIP. Um, your trash is not going to be picked up. That's going to be a mess. I mean, if something majorly, majorly pops off that affects us, not just economically, but just everyday life, from the trash man to services that are rendered, that people require medical. I'm, I'm passing up this trash can and it is like super full. I don't know if everybody in this complex came and dumped their stuff here, not the shopping complex, but it's like every piece of trash is right there. I don't know guys, get ready for something. I'm gonna go pick up some extra ice, put it in the freezer, extra five gallon waters. Adios amigos.